eat sushi properly. Don't we all love sushi? I personally enjoy sushi and on some occasion, I just dig in and eat it with my fingers. I mean, come on, it's really hard to use the chopsticks and it takes practice to actually look like I'm not struggling while eating my favorite California maki. Although of course I agree that using chopsticks is the best way to eat sushi, there are a lot of other things that you need to consider as well for eating sushi properly. Here are some of them, chop the chopsticks. The chopsticks provided in most of the restaurants are wooden and the two sticks are glued together. What you need to do is simply remove the chopsticks from its container and break it midway. I always rub it together to make the sides smoother and this will also make sure that there are no wooden particles left. Choosy you. If you don't know what to order, ask the chef and allow him to select from the menu for you. If you have an allergy in a particular ingredient, it's best to let him know for you to have a pleasurable sushi experience. Bite size Don T bite. Any type of sushi should not be bitten halfway and that's why it's served in bite-sized pieces. You will only appreciate its real flavor once all the ingredients are inside your mouth, so go ahead, pick one and put the whole piece in your mouth. Say ayah and enjoy the flavor. The Wasabi Experience A small amount of wasabi should always be part of sushi. You can directly put a small amount on sushi or dip it in a wasabi sauce, lime is optional, soy sauce and wasabi. This ingredient gives a different kick in every sushi and you can always control how hot you want it. So try a small amount first so you can assess the amount you want to put on your sushi. But be really careful, too much of wasabi will give a real serious kick on your nasal cavities. If you chose a sushi where the slice of fish is on top of the rice, nijiri sushi, make sure to turn it upside down, the slice of fish facing down, before dipping it to the wasabi sauce. This will avoid the rice to separate and get mixed with the sauce. Too fresh for you. If you find the taste too overwhelming, get a slice of ginger and chew it. Ginger slices are usually served beside the wasabi. But if you can't handle chewing a slice of ginger, try to drink a fresh ginger tea. Most of the Japanese restaurants provide tea on the house so go ahead and ask for one. Don't forget to ask for sugar syrup for a perfect refreshing tea. Blown away. Blowfish is a very intriguing dish and a lot of us see eating this as an adventure. 
There's no problem with trying this out but I really suggest that you only try this at a 3 or 5 star restaurant.